I first knew I wanted to be a pilot when uh, my father's friend uh, took me up in a little cub airplane on a grass strip. Before that, I'd, I'd always kind of, you know, looked up and thought, wow, that'd be a, a neat profession to get into. Once I graduated high school, before I went to college, I got my private pilot's license. So I was 22 years old when I started training at NTP. To get to the airline, it took me about a little over two years, um, from the beginning of training to um, a first officer. Airlines is all about seniority. You know, it's all about getting that seniority number started. Um, and ATP, I believe, is you know one of the fastest ways to go about doing it. I fly for uh, Envoy Air. Um, I chose them because of their flow-through program to American Airlines. Their competitive pay and their base structure. Usually, I show to the airport about an hour before my sign-in time. Um, sign-in time is 45 minutes before a flight starts. Um, show up to the airport, go through security, check out the weather, maybe get some coffee, and get prepared for the flight. I go to the gate, um, meet the crew. Um, it's kind of funny that no matter how many flights you do, it seems like you're constantly meeting new people doing it. So meet the crew, go down to the airplane, get the airplane set up, and get ready to go fly. What I enjoy most about flying the aircraft, it's a very automated aircraft, but um, there's, there's a lot of hand flying to it as well. Um, we also go into some smaller airports, so we're entering the traffic pattern just like you would in a, a Cessna 172, 152, so that's you know fun and exciting. I first knew I wanted to be a pilot at a very young age. At eight years old, I took a airplane ride with uh, the program Young Eagles. It's done by the Experimental Aircraft Association. And I knew as soon as the wheels left the pavement that that's what I wanted to do the rest of my life. After graduating high school, I worked several jobs to make money to pay for lessons. It took me a little longer than usual to obtain my private pilot's license. I kind of had a leg up when I started ATP. I'd been a private pilot for eight years. Started ATP, I had approximately 800 hours. After finishing ATP, I ended up instructing for them for one year and made some of my greatest flying memories with students that I still keep in touch with today. So I'd say from the start of ATP till I finished was approximately two years. Seniority is very important at the airlines. Schedules, time off, vacation time, anything like that is based off of seniority. And that's another reason why I chose ATP because they were gonna get me there faster than any other school that I had looked into. At ATP, when you're doing your training flights, you're going into the bigger airports, Class Delta and Class Charlie airports. So I believe that gives me a, a, a bigger advantage. And the fast pace of the ATP program is very similar to the fast pace program and training environment that you'll encounter when you do go to the regional airlines. I chose Envoy mainly because of the reputation that they have in the regional airline industry. They're known for the regional carrier that can get it done. Also chose them for the competitive pay, the basis. I wanted to be based in DFW and got that shortly after being based in Chicago for about four months. Now is a great time to become an airline pilot. There's a lot of movement in the industry. The benefits are increasing, the pay is increasing, the quality of life is also increasing. So if you are thinking about joining the industry, now's a great time. Personally, achieving my goal of becoming an airline pilot, it was a dream come true. It was everything that I had ever hoped for. I still have to pinch myself today. I can't believe I get to call this a job. <laughs>